Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the Ulta Beauty. This is called the Lip Squad Mini Lip Set. And to be honest, when I purchased this online, I thought it was going to be like full size lip products in this set. And when I received it in person, I was like, oh, it's mini. It does not say that on the website. And it didn't look closely enough in the photo that says mini. So this is basically what we're going to be trying out today, but I'm really excited nonetheless. I'm hoping they're pigmented. I hope they have a nice glossy finish to it. I hope there's a nice scent and a good dope applicator. So we're going to be testing this out today and just see if it's actually worth it. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything, of course, will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's dive on in and try this out. So the first lip shade, we're going to go ahead and start off with it is called blush described on their website as a nude pink lip shade and I completely agree I hope you guys can see the swatch in the back of my hand it almost looks like my skin complexion but it's really really pretty love the unique undertone this is a perfect like everyday type of lip color you can kind of just throw on the consistency surprisingly of this gloss is pretty thick it's kind of sticky and but overall it does have a really pretty high shine not the most glossy gloss but it definitely has a really high shine and i do love the undertone to this gloss as for the mini gloss itself you guys it looks tiny it reminds me of like a sample size something that i would receive in my ipsy glam bag monthly subscription it does have a dofa applicator which actually i'm surprised that it even came with just because I don't know, I feel like a doe apple here is kind of fancy <laughs> for such a small little mini set like this one, but I'm really happy that they included it. As for a scent, to be really honest, you guys, it smells like a delicious, yummy, frosting filled cupcake it smells a little strong i'm not even gonna lie but i did get pretty close to the dover applicator when looking for a scent so maybe that's why but i'll let you guys know if it kind of like the scent lingers and it becomes a little you know a little intoxicating so i'm gonna quickly remove the lip combo that i currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on blush i'm gonna start in the corner of my mouth and apply on this gloss and so far i really really love the undertone, the pigment to this gloss, again, it does feel a little sticky in my opinion, which I'm not a huge fan of, but if it's the right undertone and shade, I'm here for it just because it's so pretty. It's like a pretty everyday nude, but I do love the undertone to it. As for the glossy shine, I really like it. It definitely has a really pretty high shine now that I have it on my lips. As for the consistency, it definitely feels pretty thick. It does feel sticky. I'm not a fan of sticky glosses just because I feel like things can get stuck to my lips, like a little bit of like hair, or if I'm outside and the wind blows and my hair gets stuck to my lips and then I have a whole bunch of sticky gloss in my hair, it just becomes a mess and I don't like that so that's like one of my biggest pet peeves <laughs> but overall I really love the undertone to it it's really really pretty so let's move on to lip shade number two and this one is called melon which I absolutely love the name to it because one of my favorite fruits is melon you guys it's so good <laughs> and this is described on their website as a peachy sheer shimmer which I personally really like it's I like the undertone it's different I'm not sure if you're gonna see it on camera I'll do my best but it kind of has like a gold undertone to it it has little shimmer specks in it but it's so finely milled you can barely see it you guys I feel like if I get look really close to the swatch and then kind of like move my hand to a certain angle you can kind of see it so that is the only thing again the consistency of this feels pretty thick in the consistency overall it's such a pretty shade do you guys see it now on applying it on I feel like it's so nice it gives you a nice little pop of color and I feel like this is a perfect lip color that you can kind of apply on if you're gonna run around and do errands or you just want something that's lightly tinted nothing too bold I think this is perfect it is so pretty on I absolutely love it it's really really pretty and it feels really comfortable on the lips again it still feels sticky I do like the high shine but overall, you can definitely feel like you have something on your lips. So that is the only thing. Comment down below. What do you guys think? I think it's really, really pretty. So let's move on to our third lip shade. This one is called Velvet Mauve, described on their website as a true mauve, which I completely agree. Looking at it in person, I'm not sure it's going to look on camera, you guys, but it definitely has a mauve undertone. It's really, really sure. Like I tried my best layering this one on. 
and it just applied on really sheer. So that is the only thing. But overall, it has a really pretty undertone. Personally, love it. Again, I feel like these glosses are perfect. Like, if you want a subtle kind of pigmentation, you don't want something too bold, but you want something that's going to kind of give you a little something on your lips, I feel like this is perfect. So I'm going to go in and apply on this lip color. And I'm just going to do my best to build the pigmentation so you can hopefully see it on just because I feel like it's kind of close to the color of my lips. And this is basically it. I tried my best to layer on this gloss as much as I could so you can see a pigment to it. Comment down below on your thoughts. So far, I actually really like it. It looks like more like a clear gloss in my opinion like I thought before. It just, I feel like it looks like the color of my lips. And since it's so sheer, it's not very pigmented. I feel like you won't really see it on, but it's still really pretty. I love the shine that it gives to my lips. It looks really nice and hydrating and again it still feels sticky the scent is still there you guys it's not as strong of a pen as i thought it would be and it hasn't given me a headache so far but you can definitely smell the cupcake scent okay so let me just tell you it is definitely there for every single one of these losses so let's move on to lip shade number four for the last and final lip shade this one is called pomegranate described on their website as a berry wine shade and it really is a beautiful berry wine shade i absolutely love it it's definitely more pigmented thank god they added a pigmented one here because <laughs> i was starting to get really nervous but it's really nice love the undertone i feel like this will complement many different skin complexions and obviously you can layer this on if you want it to be more pigmented or you can kind of you know dilute the pigmentation by applying a little bit on your lips and then pressing your lips together to kind of get a little sheer application or even use your finger to kind of blend everything out and give a little bit more of that pout and kind of dilute the pigmentation in a different way. So I'm gonna go in and apply this lip color on. Again, I'm gonna start in the corner and then work my way through. This is definitely way more pigmented. I feel like if you personally, you know, don't really wear bold lip colors often and you would like to kind of slowly get comfortable with wearing a bold lip, but you don't want to wear like a bold lipstick, like a red lip or like a deep wine lip color. I feel like this is a perfect in between because it's pigmented, but subtle enough and it's a gloss. It feels moisturizing. When you press your lips together, by the way, it does not separate the pigmentation or the formula of this gloss, which I feel is pretty impressive because sometimes glosses tend to do that, especially when they're really hydrated and pigmented, but this one does not. I was able to apply an even amount on my lips. It does kind of apply like sheer, but at the same time pigmented, which I love, but you still feel like you have something on. It does, it feels sticky. So that is the only downside to me. And as for the scent, I find it to be a little strong, but it smells like cupcake, which is kind of yummy, which I personally love cupcakes. So it worked really well. Is this actually worth picking up? Should we try it out? I feel like this is worth trying if you are starting your makeup collection or you just want to have a, a variety of glosses at hand. Maybe you're not really into makeup, but you like to have it there whenever you need it or whatever you want to apply it on. I feel like this is perfect if this is on sale. I wouldn't go out and purchase this for $16. I find the glosses to be too small and they're not... They're pigmented, but nothing to like, wow, go get them because it's gonna last you a really long time. I feel like this is perfect, like if you travel maybe a lot, or if you go out and you wanna have like a little something to put in your clutch, um, or if you're just starting your makeup collection, this is perfect to have a little bit of something to slowly, you know, introduce you to makeup and things that are out there. But as for the formula being amazing and the pigmentation being amazing, the size of it, I don't say this is like the best. There's other stuff you can try out and I'm sure there's other sets out there that you maybe can splurge a little bit more and get more out of your what you're purchasing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything of course will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye!